Hello, dear dears. Uh, we are second throw of BX. The one thing I am changing, I, I was using the um, the pad, this thing. If you guys see this thing, this is what I like to use. I who on tablet. I teach from it throughout the day and save images. And I say, okay, we'll play it like this. And then I started thinking, uh, now I got to go back and redraw all that stuff. So I decided to go into Schmeppy since it's a great deal. Five dollars a month, you get to do all the stuff, and it's easy to manipulate. So that way I can keep it. If Mike and I stop, I can just stop where it is and not trying to remember how to draw the thing. It just gets frozen. So I actually give the title of the thing right here. It's Murbuckles Burrow. Yay. All right. So Mike, you're going to say something before we got a. Oh, sure. Uh, uh, so um, yeah. just a, just a real quick question. Um, so your fighter Borg, what is his armor class again? Uh oh, the, we, oh, wait a minute. See, I thought we were going to be friends today. Oh. <laughs> Already, he's gonna be dead. Are you serious? The guy hasn't done anything. Yeah, he's been nothing but a friend. Okay, here we go. His AC is two. Okay, and um, his hit points. We're descending, aren't we? Are descending? Yes, we are. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And his and his hit points. I he has a big old four. Remember, I rolled these. If they yeah. die, they die, Mike. I'm not gonna cry. I got you. I, I feel like I'm playing fair. You you are you are. Okay. Okay. Right. So, um, and then uh, the cleric. His name Anwar mm -hmm. has an armor class of two. He has three hit points. Okay. And Mr. Timmons, you already know he has one hit point. I keep complaining about it. His yep. armor class is six. Six. All right. Nice. All right. Cool. Okay. Well, um. That's important information. Okay, so um, oh, okay. All right. We're going to we're That's going cool. to we're going to we're going to we're going to take up on um, Moxie Murbuckle Salvation. You're in Murbuckle's Borough, right? So, um, kind of to recap, uh, you rescued some gnomes that were uh, being um, carted away. Uh, you killed a couple of uh, lackeys. Um, you, uh, slept in a glen, you met, uh, Zagu, a gnome mystic, gave you some trinkets, I believe a magic sword, a elven cloak, and, um, a, uh, amulet of a unicorn. Your cleric had an experience with the unicorn. Um, you have, you, uh, girly, um, uh, a gnome. Girl. <laughs> he uh, he uh, yeah. he escorted you to Murbuckle's burrow. You kind of walked around. You found a observation dome, or kind of pe pe peeking out. But you also found a door. You went down the door. You had a you scuttled with uh, three kobolds, right. and um, that's where we ended. If I remember yes. correctly. All that's right. That's exactly where we left off. Okay. So. All right. This is gonna. This is gonna hurt, but yeah, let's go from here. All right. So, um, so, and then, and then the other question I have is, wh what is your light source at this point? Uh, if you remember correctly, because I do, the um, the bastard sword, right? Yeah. Um, it's black, right? Yeah. He, um, my man Borg usually uses a two-handed sword. Yeah. Oh, that's right. right. Or a mace or a bow. So what he does is he has a lantern in one hand. He's shedding the light. He's got it. So Borg's got the light. All right. So Borg's got the light. The other guys don't. Yes. Okay. So you got done killing the three kobolds and nothing. Else. What you can see from that, um, that, uh, you remember you're in, these are five right. foot and they're, it's basically, it's, it's not barely six feet tall, right? Um, okay. Tunnel. Yeah. yeah. What you see is that tunnel from there, because Borg light shines um, 30 feet. One, two, three, four, okay. five, six. Okay, so so you can see all the way down that the tunnel actually um, goes another 15 feet from there. Okay. I can see that far with the light. Right. Okay, so one from where two, he's standing, so that's about thirty feet, right? Yeah. Well, so well, basically, so right there. from yeah. but from where he is, one, two, three, four, five, six squares. But basically, there's a T there where um, okay, it goes up 
north you can just yeah go f and then yeah just well actually no sorry it just goes it just goes north at this point that's what you that's what you see oh it just goes north okay yeah at the so at this point and then um right. and then where timmons is um move your cursor five feet over from where mr timmons is okay here um yeah and go down one you can see that it goes down oh there's a space here too oh yeah. like here yeah so that's what you see okay. from your light source Ooh. yes Ooh. Uh, okay. okay mr timmons well <laughs> borg's gonna hold spot uh timmons is gonna sneak up to here mm -hmm. and listen very 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 tentatively see if he can hear any sounds around this corner of course you know the light is kind of pushing this way so he's looking but he's also listening for breathing he knows there's kobolds if there's one there's like a hundred so he wants to make sure that he's not going to stick his head around the corner and get shot in the face so yeah. the goal here is to slowly move up listening hugging the wall the whole time okay, okay. and um He's going to pull out his favorite weapon, which is a spear, which hopefully will kind of get them away from him enough. So he's got like both hands on this thing. See what he can do. Gotcha. So you're right? so and you're so you're hugging that wall and you are and you are listening. You yes. don't you don't you don't hear anything. Okay. All right. So he's gonna hold his spear up, turn this way and point it straight in that direction. Okay. <laughs> Um, as soon as you get charged, as soon as you, as soon as you, as soon as you step on that square there, oh shit, He's yeah, um, you fall I'm, 10 feet down a pit and you're done, and you take three hit points of damage. He's done. He's oh no, dead. oh, there's a, there's a pit right there. Oh no, Mr. Timmons, you are horrible. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry. This may be a short, short session. All right. Got my thieves gone. All right. Three hit points worth of damage. I would have killed the whole party. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Edward comes running over. Okay. Oh, Mr. Timmons. Oh, Mr. Timmons. So was it a trap? Yeah. So basically the trap oh, floor okay. falls okay. falls in. And um and as soon as he hits 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 the bottom, it springs back up like this. It's a, a gnome trap. It's mechanical. Okay. And it it's kind of went down, went up as soon as you you, you put a little bit of, of uh, pressure on it. So yeah, Anwar can't see Timmons anymore, but he but they saw him fall through the floor. Okay, so they talked to each other. They said we can't. Anwar cannot leave his his friend down in that trap. That's yeah. just disrespectful. So they turn around and they uh. uh okay. Uh All right, let's do this. So Anwar is going to tie a rope. They, we have a rope. Good. Yeah. Uh, he's going to tie a rope from himself to Borg. Okay. And he's going to slowly kind of try to push down on the trap enough. And Borg is going to lower him down there. As soon as you to, put uh, the slightest bit of pressure, the trap, it, it goes like this. And you're, okay. you're fine. You've got a rope. So, yeah. Okay. What you see down below is, um, unfortunately, um, Timmons took some damage, too much damage that he didn't yeah. survive. But he also, but you also notice, oddly enough, there are some kobolds down there, dead, obviously, and some dead gnomes, which is kind of odd. Weird. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think Borg is going to, he, he's going to insist on Anwar going down there and inspecting to see if there's anything worthwhile down there. Like, yeah. With, with the gnomes and stuff like that there's is there anything we need to get off of um wait, i guess we're going to take him and bring him back up sure because he had wasn't he given something from the he people was. he was given an elven, elven cloak yeah. yeah all right so yeah so anwar is gonna 
be lower down slowly. Yeah. Uh, so Borg has the lantern. He put the lantern on the ground. He mm -hmm. still has his sword kind of in hand in case something okay. comes up from wherever, right, while he's doing this whole thing. Okay. Has to be, just be okay. Yep. Lowers him down into the hole, all right? And where the first thing he's going to do is kind of how, how far does it go down? It actually goes down 10 feet. Uh, wow. but, okay. but, right. but, but it's, but it's really only about eight feet at this point. Um, cause there's so many kobolds and gnomes that have been piled up down here. Okay. And unfortunately, I mean, I, what I was going to do is I was going to roll the dice and, and say divide it by half, but I rolled three. Well, three divided doesn't, by two doesn't matter. I mean, he has no. one hit point. So no, yeah, it's not going to uh, matter. Right. Not gonna so, matter, so yeah. So he's going to go ahead and, um, and we're going to try to, I guess they're probably not tall enough. At the very least, he's going to tie the rope off of him, tie it back onto which we call um, Timmons, and then Borg's going to bring him up, untie him, and then put the rope back down. Amwar, in the meantime, is going to turn around and inspect the bottom of this thing the best he can. He knows he's not a thief, but he can go through pockets to try yeah. to see if he, he can find anything worthwhile. Um, Borg is uh, going to take the elven cloak, and um, although he feels bad about it, but he doesn't feel that bad. I guess he feels bad, but he doesn't feel that okay. bad. He's going to put the elven cloak on, but he's going to take uh, Timmons and do we have a knapsack or something? What did we, so, have? we have? What's our stuff? Looking, our stuff looking yeah. when you're investigating the bottom, because you said you're looking at the bottom, you yeah. see to the south of the pit, Okay. there's like a, a, a break in the fissure of the um, of, and you see a pair of very beady looking eyes looking at you. Oh, and where does? Yeah, and where? And then there's also something behind. You sense something behind, also those um those beady eyes, but the beady eyes aren't coming out of that fissure at this point. It's to the south side of the. But okay, so wait, let's back this up. So yeah. the beady eyes, uh, are they any kind of color, or is it just because you just see them in the shadow? Do uh, do I smell anything? Do I smell like? Well, there's I mean, death around you. There's the uh, there's right, kobolds okay. and gnomes. Right, but okay. but but the light source. Are you going to shine the light that direction? Well, the only way you could do that either, and Borg sends down the lantern. Which I don't know if that's what we want to do. Uh, um, okay, I don't like this. All right, so Amber's going to stop what he's doing. He's going to grab the rope, tie it on himself, and then uh, Borg's going to help him up. I, I don't yeah. know. Dead bodies and be the eyes. I'm thinking rats. Okay. <laughs> That'd be a horrible way to go. Um, <laughs> as you're... It's, as you're as you're as you're coming up, um, okay, you're being pulled up. Um, Borg can see a massive-looking ferret about yeah, yeah, it was not, it was not this. about about three feet long, mm -hmm. kind of come out of this fissure, mm -hmm. and um, then you then you hear a voice, a sort of a high-pitched voice, call it back. And it goes back into the fissure. Oh, so uh, Amber goes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And so Borg just kind of stops, and Amber goes, "Hello." Uh, a uh, high-pitched female voice says, "Hello." Ah, uh, hi. Uh, uh, my name's Anwar. I am a Lawful cleric. I uh, I have been hired by a group of gnomes to come here to eradicate some evil that has taken over Merbuckle Hill. Um, who who's who sent you? Uh, he may be a friend of his name's uh, Gurley. Gurley, Gurley yes. sent you. Yeah, Gurley. You know Gurley. I know Gurley. Yeah. He sent me. Uh, my friend just got hurt, and uh, he can't come back. He's um, so 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 out of yeah. the out of the hole that 
goes to the south is one of the most beautiful little gnomes you've ever seen in your life. Little oh. blonde hair, pixie, you know, uh, uh, little, um, she sticks her head out and she goes, ah, my name's Sassafras. They, they call me Sassy. Um, I fell down here and the ferrets, they helped me, but I, I couldn't get out. Oh yeah. Like it's, you can, we'll get you out of here. So this is oh. your ferret. Well, the ferrets help protect the the burrow um but they'll they'll be fine and so she kind of pats the fair on the back of the head and she comes over to the rope <laughs> she, she wants out okay oh yeah so he he immediately kind of comes by he tells board to lower him back down and he grabs her and kind of helps her onto the rope and says go ahead and climb up i'll hold the rope for you does your she, does your ferret need friend uh help he's getting a, up or, oh no 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 or, they've got they've got their own little ways all the way through here um um, but, uh, thank you so, so very, very, very much. I've been down there for the entire evening. It's been absolutely wow. crazy. Um, yeah, the Copals, they came in from two of our doors, but we were able to escape through the third one, but there are a number of gnomes and I think, um, Moxie and Fanny and the rest of them, they're still in there. They're still being they're They're still. The kobolds are still tearing apart the burrow. Oh my gosh! I we are here to stop it the best we can. We we just lost one of our I mean, Mr. Timmons here. We just pulled him up, and of course, after she gets up to the top, mm -hmm. obviously Anwar joins her. He takes a rope, puts it back in the backpack, the whole nine yards. Shows his little injured friend. He says, "Yeah." He says, "I don't know what to do with him because oh. I really feel bad about it." But you know, um. So you know your way through here. Oh yeah. Oh, I I'm 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 uh, from the borough. So and, so So why so, can I ask you a question if you're from the borough? And obviously how come gnomes fell into this trap? Wouldn't they know this trap was here? Oh, no. The kobolds threw the gnomes in here. Uh, after they we got overrun. We normally don't get overrun by kobolds, those evil disgusting creatures, but there were just so many of them. So 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 now she is kind of where Anwar is right now. So she okay. she she basically down about um, a foot and a half off the bottom of the ground. She reaches over to like a, a rock lever and she basically pushes this lever. She goes she goes okay. So so when this is up, it's locked. When it's down, it's open. So ah. you you want to you want to make sure this is up, and then then it's safe. Okay. That that that's good to know. <laughs> and, and he says, "Well, could, is there any way we could get you to kind of lead us through here to find your friends?" Oh, well, I can take you to the door if you want. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll follow you. Okay. So, um, all right. So, um, couple things. So. Mm -hmm. So so as you she locks that when you go there, that goes down another um well from that square another ten feet down. Okay. And then it goes to the left. Um uh, yeah, go no, well, no one more. I'm sorry, one more square down to the left. Well, that that's fine. Oh it doesn't matter. Wait. She goes she's yeah, one more down and then to the left. And she goes, she goes, she goes, there's another pit down there that where that fed into the other one. She goes, there's nothing down there. You don't want to go down that way. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then she says, um, but there may be um, some more kobolds in the hiding spot around the corner, the guard post. So um, she is going to, oh, you, you sent me the schmeppy all. I can guide you yeah. through. So she comes around this way to here she she tells you to kind of to be quiet okay. um and um well actually she stops here and she says if you go around that corner you're going to see there's another guard post there may be some more kobolds down that way oh okay um so she's like well how tall is she two and a half feet tall yeah two? about that yeah okay. about... all right and where's gonna um 
hand the uh he has the, the, the Borg's handing Anwar the lantern. Okay. Anwar's gonna move back. Borg's gonna move this way. He's gonna move out and pull out his bow. Right? She says, Do you want me to hold I the beat- lantern? Oh yes, yes, yes indeed. <laughs> I can gets, hold the lantern. It, I, so in BX does does arrow shoot twice or once? They once. Oh crap sticks. Yeah. Okay, fine. We're gonna we're gonna do this. All right. Get one shot off before they come down the hall. If they come down the hall, then they have to go to the sword. All right, that's fine. So essentially, if she goes sport, he's gonna stand behind her. Okay. Lock and load. He's gonna have out his what's he got? A flail and have that ready to go. All right. Mm-hmm. But uh Borg, if some I mean, if he gets if he if he has to plunk plunk, and of course at that point he will drop the bowl, pull pull his black bastard sword and go to work. All right. So mm-hmm. that's the idea is maybe take out something before it gets close, if we yep. can get him on surprise. That's the game plan. We'll see if okay. that works. All right. Let's see All right. right. Well, Sassy says, um, so around this corner, so basically to the, um, if she goes, if she steps forward once, right, then the, there is a 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 foot tunnel that goes to the um, west, not to the north, to the west. Here? No, down one. We're 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 right where right where she's at. Not here. Here. Is yep. this way? Yep. Go twenty five feet. Okay. All right. Then it then then it opens up to a then a, to a uh, to a ten by ten. Okay. Right. Well. Yeah. So yeah, right there, there, and then down to not up. Down here. Yep. 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 So should I put a wall here? Sure. Right there, right? Yep. And she basically um very um confidently with you guys behind her, she starts walking down this hallway. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm following right behind her, making sure that she's okay. As soon as it goes, how would you say, uh sideways, I'm shooting a I'm shooting a bow. Okay. And Aaron was there to back me up as soon as okay. things get nasty. As, she, as she what you what you see is a um is a kobold lying in the north uh, western corner there, okay. and he's trying to get up, but he's hurt very, very badly. Really? Mm. Yeah. Interesting. All right. So, uh, what is she? What's her reaction to the situation? Um, she's she's pulling out a dagger and she's starting to run at him. Okay. <laughs> She's sassy. It's, but does gnomes speak? Okay, wait, we didn't ask this. Did gnomes speak Kobold? We don't know that. So so, so Borg, before she gets to him, yeah. he grabs her by the shoulder. He goes, wait, 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 wait. He tells her, wait, 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 wait. She goes, oh, um, okay, uh, yeah. Um, can you speak Kobold? Yeah, but a, a little bit. They, they're, they're, they're our sworn enemies. Okay. Uh, maybe we can get some information out of this guy before you just start you know, taking him away. All right. And so, so I, so I said, I, I, I can ask a couple of questions. You can ask the questions, and we get the answers. How's that sound? Okay, okay. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't work out, you can finish the situation off. I don't really care. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, he's going to go ahead and actually tell her to kind of get behind him for one second. Okay. Right? Yeah. He's going to move up. He still has the bow out, right? Uh-huh. But he's going to go ahead and uh, take the bow now, slowly put it away. Right, but if anything should startle him, he's going to go crazy. Right. So in and this he, he, in this room, ahead. when you step in, what you what you notice is that there's a kobold lying in some dirty rags over here, sort of bleeding out. There's a couple little holes in the south wall that are meant to like look through, you know, okay. to watch. Here. And the, yeah, and there is a big gong in the southeastern corner. Gong southeast, yeah. which would be here. Uh, to me, that's southwest. But but I but I was thinking, but it's southeast it's fun. this yeah. side. Yeah. Okay. There's a there's a gong there. Okay. But, cool. Right, but, gotcha. And and the um and the kobold is struggling to get to the gong. Okay. Cool. All right. So first of all, I um I pull out the sword and I kind of like 
gracefully. Like, I don't want to hurt the guy. I mean, I do want to hurt him, but I don't want to hurt him. I take him and I kind of, with the flat of my blade, push him back, okay, over to the side a little bit. Mm-hmm. Right. And I, and I, I go like it's <laughs> just kind of, yeah. And I tell Sassafras to come on in here, right? Okay. There's nobody else, just this one dude, right? Yeah, yep, yep. That's all you see. She comes right, in. So she comes in, and then I'm going to ask her to, to ask a series of questions, right? So I said, ask him, right, how many would come if he hit the gong? Okay. She pulls out her dagger. She puts it at his throat. <laughs> and she says, in kobold. Right. Not kobold. Well. And uh, he snarls at her. Let's see. Oh. And he spits on her. Ooh. Okay. All right. So uh, how was he hurt? Um. His leg is pretty be- messed up, and he's got a massive gash wound. He was he, he was in a big fight with the okay. earlier, and you could tell yeah. he's he's on his last leg, and she is starting to uh, push her dagger into his throat. Okay, so so I say, uh, girly, girly. See, uh, I pointed his leg that's hurt. Yeah, yeah. I said, can you push your dagger like down there for a second? We don't want to lose his ability to speak. We just want to make sure that. He knows you're serious. Sassy says, I like you. She <laughs> she takes her dagger and she jams it into his leg. Okay. All right. Cool. And uh, what happens when that happens? Uh, he tries to bite her. Um, right. He misses Sassy, terribly. I, I say, Sassy, uh, we're getting nowhere with this guy. So you want to finish this off? That's fine. He's just, he's reluctant to do anything. It was, oh. it was a long shot. I, I don't think he's going to. She stands up, and in one motion, she's she looks as if she's looking away from him, and she just slices his throat. <laughs> These are good creatures too. <laughs> Gnomes are good people. This is their. But her home was invaded. Yeah, she's these. This is a kobold. She is not. This is a, this is this is a beast that attacked her family. Okay, so how's yeah. this gong attached to the wall? Um, no, it was basically in a in a stand. Um, okay. And it's just, and, uh, Borg's got a strength of 15. Can he unattach this, take it down and lay it on the ground so it cannot be used? Yeah, you sure can. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm going to have her like stand on my shoulders or whatever it is mm-hmm. so she can cut the, the ropes that hold it. All right. Okay. I guess that's ropes holding it. I don't know. And I'm going to take this thing down, lay it down. So nobody else can back, come back here behind us and start banging on this thing and okay. throwing this whole thing off. Right. So I just cover our backs. All right. Yeah. And I said, okay, we are done with this. Um, he's. She says, clearly, well, well, how about I, I'll show you the secret door. Then I got to go. I got to go tell Zagu about this. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Show us a secret door. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, so she takes you back around this way. Okay. All right. And she takes you to this corner right here. Okay. And um, all you see is stonework. It looks like stonework. But um, she basically um, takes out a an amulet pendant that looks like a unicorn. And wow. Amulet Jose, I got one of those too. She says, oh, you must truly be a friend of the gnomes. And yes, she, what, is, what does this do? What, what, what are you doing with it? Why are you taking it out? There's this little indentation, if you will, and she puts it into that indentation there. And then she turns it kind of like to the right to, as a um, key. Okay. Now, she <laughs> as soon as she does that. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. This, this door opens up, and um, what you see, um, um, okay, so uh, go down five feet. Okay, then go down another five feet. Mm-hmm. Then to the um, east, go five feet. There's a passage that way. Go down another five feet because you can, you can see 30. No, not, I'm sorry, back. Yeah, z- zero that out. Okay, go back to where the, the original, yeah, go down the, another five feet down. 
there yep okay so you so you see an empty energy and then and then you see on the south that it opens up into a bigger room but you hear lots of noise the door wow. opens up there's light in there there's torches there's but you hear i mean you hear a ruckus you hear dishes really? being broken you hear you hear a little bit of a screaming you hear oh, wow. and she says those are the cobalts. They're they're destroying more Buckle Burl. Okay, well, we're gonna take care of this. All right, so uh, we're going to uh, Borg is going to be rushing in. Okay, I guess rushing past her, right? All right. Where's the Where's the noise allowed us? Okay, the noise is okay. So once you get there, once you, what you, what you, what you see to your left mm -hmm. is a um, steps that go up. One, two, three. Four. Wait, wait, one, two, three, four. Uh, a good 20 feet. Okay. All right. Let's do this. So I'm going to do this. I can't really do that. I can do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's and, then fine. Go, then, then, and then one more 20 foot. Um, I mean, one more five foot. Okay. Okay. And then at the at the end of that, the, all all those are steps. There's an observation there, and and you see two kobolds charging down those steps at you. Oh, nice! All right. And they are they are they are coming hard. Yeah, I'm not screwing around with this. I'm going to charge them too. Of course, I got yeah. my sword drawn. Mm -hmm. And Wars coming in. He's going to greet me. Obviously, it's very narrow, right? So I guess mm -hmm. it's small for gnomes. So I guess it's me versus them. Yeah. Uh, I guess we should roll for I initiative to see who gets a hit or first. Yes. All right. Me going first. Boom. I rolled a five. You got it. I rolled a. I rolled a uh, two. Oh, let's roll dice. Let's do the old fashioned. Okay. Yeah. I rolled a four. Dice. Okay. This is better. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to the first guy. Right. So what's this boy Stacko? Ah, this is great. Seventeen. Yeah. Oh, twenty. 20 that would be a I hit my friend that would be a hit on the first uh, kobold coming down are you doing max damage on a on a thing or what well i think the minimum damage you do would wipe this guy out anyway i mean so you oh. can just describe it because isn't the minimum okay. damage you do like what's the master sword i don't know what it does it was given to me all i know is i assume it's i don't oh. i didn't write anything down i said bastard sword wait hold on a second i did but, but it's it's a it's a 1d8 plus one Black right one d eight plus oh yeah it's it's at one d eight plus plus two with my strength but if I was going two handed which I guess I am she has the lantern so that'd be one d eight plus three well then yeah. the maximum okay. so four points of damage you I mean yeah okay cool yeah wipe yeah. you wiped him out cool. um, all right now I'm gonna get jumped and killed this will be fun. Okay. I, I want to see them all die. I've never had a whole party DPK. I actually have seen it. You, you and Chuck did it. Yeah, we've done it. We've done it. We've, we've done, done it. it. <laughs> done it a couple right. times. So, so what's this little guy do to me? <laughs> okay, so um, so so he's running up. So now he's gonna. The other guy's gonna be swinging on um, swinging on you. But to hit you, I gotta get a seventeen, which I did not. Really? So he missed. Oh. All right. Because uh, you you have an armor class of two, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. I rolled crap. I didn't hit you. I didn't hit you at all. Okay. So this is kind of cool. All right. So yeah, I would have been hit an armor class of. Um, mm. So while Borg is doing this, though, what is what is Anwar doing? Oh, he's coming up, but he can't really get to it. I don't think because okay. it's single file. This is like right. a small thing. It's five feet. So so, but so basically, if anything, he could stand right here, make sure nothing's coming this way up on us, right? I guess. Well, that that's what I'm asking. Are you standing out in that hall, or are you going into the, going up the up the steps? Well, he's not going to go up the steps. He's going to stay here in the hall in case something comes this way, so we won't get attacked from behind. He's okay. got his flail out. All right. So 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 what he sees is um, she's got the lantern still. Right, she's got the lantern. She didn't leave us yet, did she? She said she was gonna leave us. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now well, fun. but you, but you're inside, and this actually there's light in here. There is our. Okay. There's um, it, it's there are like warm light coming off the walls. There's torches. There's things, and then but you also there's a lot of light coming from 
down to the eastern part. But so basically, what but what Anwar is seeing from there, um, well, he basically he see he he knows that it opens into a larger room, right? There's a oh, hallway larger. Room. Okay. Yeah, but down there. He's not going there without his buddy, but he just was yeah, sure nobody I understand. So he's just he's there. Okay. okay. So um. So you got the initiative last time. So you're gonna are you gonna swing on this new guy, or this other kobold? Well, you... I, already, I already did. I missed. It's your you turn. missed him. Yeah, he missed on his swing. Oh, I missed with a natural one. He spins right over you. He's all right. All right. Thacko minus fourteen, seventeen minus fourteen. Hit armor class of three for nine points of damage. Oh, totally wiped him out. He's Leave gone. him in half. Yes. I come straight down when he's coming down the stairs. And Cleveland, and literally, literally, it's like cartoon, like Tom and Jerry kind of falls apart in halves right then and there. All right. All right. So I just want to let you know, I randomly rolled the number of kobolds that are in this place. Yeah. And keeping tally right now, you, you killed six. Okay. Right. Okay. Three, four, yep. Six. Yep. All right. Okay. So, um, <laughs> this is not, that's scared when you start it. I randomly rolled. I did. I lost well, sure. out. But I you didn't tell me how many you started with. <laughs> six are gone. He's six going. are gone. <laughs> All right. All right. So, um, so not to metagame, these guys wouldn't know, but but remember the two kobolds that were in the observation dome that Mr. Yeah. Timmons? Yeah, okay. That's this is that observation thing. All right. So now yeah. those guys are dead. So um Sassy well, says okay. Sassy sa asks Anwar, um you are you guys good? I think we're good. Um, here, let me have my lantern back. Is she leaving? Well, she goes. I do. You, do you do you do you need me to help? Well, uh, what is down these two halls? Oh, this is this is the borough. Welcome to the borough. Um, oh, so this is the borough. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. So. What goes? What's up these stairs? And what is down where? Oh no, no, Edward the stairs. The, that's an observation thing. She goes. This is the burrow. Um. So. Um, ah. And they're 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 and you just hear a bunch of ruckus. You mm -hmm. hear um. Weird noises coming like, and also, like cook like a plates being broken, um, things being smashed. Um. Yeah, she says. Um. Yeah, you know that's. You know, we got the workshop, we got the materials there, we got storage, the living room's right to the left, then there's a kitchen and there's a dining room. Um, sleeping corners down south. But but I don't know where Moxie and the rest of the gnomes are. They're probably probably held up defending his room. I, I don't know. I don't okay. know where they would be. Well, why don't you run and hide? Me and Anwar, no. I'll take it from here. Okay. So um we're just gonna go up and take a look over here and see what he sees. This is, okay. if she said observation. Obviously, we're gonna. We so, don't know. So, we don't know what loot release. Uh, not loot. I'm sorry. Yeah. We don't know what Timmons saw. Sure, sure, so, sure. You know, so, yeah. so as Borg goes up, what he sees is, um, he sees a he's in the one a a very high point of the hill, and there's slits okay. everywhere, and he actually sees um, sassafras come out of this of this big oak tree right here okay. and run across the top of the hill <laughs> okay <laughs> and then you see she, he sees her disappear into the into the woods okay cool all right so he comes back down he says oh that's good to know so how thick are the walls oh uh, they're pretty thick all right, like, there's no way to dig out from this point if you had to right all right that's fine i just didn't know if we got an entrance block if we get out of here all right he pushes in front of Anwar and he goes, this looks like where we're supposed to go. So okay. obviously he's leading the way at this point. All right. So, um, what you, so as you step forward, okay. So, um, from there, okay, let's just map out, um, go, um, well, you see 30 feet, right? With the thing. So one, two, yeah. three, four, five, six. Are, so, you, are you saying it's well lit, right? So, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, actually, so yeah. So you could probably see. You could probably see more than that. I tell you what. So let's go. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten down. Okay. 
Okay, one more. That's 10. Okay. All right. And then from um, from the one right below you. Okay. Um, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Well, let's just let's just show the whole thing. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Over to your right. Yeah, there you go. That look about right. Looks right to me. That's thirteen. Okay, so um, then 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 what you're going to do is fill the next line down thirteen over. Fill this one. Yep. Like this. Mm -hmm. Like. Okay. Yeah. And then because um, it's it's basically it's it is it is well lit. Um, okay. Um, okay. Now. See where you where now you have um it looks like a well let's see if you did if you did that ten by thirteen space yeah then, then I could tell you then I can fill some lines in for you here do this yeah just 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 fill that thirteen down all the way down to here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Now, 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 what you're going to do is from where Borg is. Um. Now we're going to draw some lines. Um. Okay. Go down from inside that square. You're up in the upper left-hand corner. Um. Well, yeah, erase that line. Sorry. So there's going to be a. Okay. All right. But 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 stay on but stay on down the track. Goes go okay. down two and then start at the second there and you're going to draw uh, three lines. Yeah. Oh yeah. From there, draw three to the to the right and then three okay. south. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to go back to the corner. Yeah. You erase those. Oh, erase those? Yeah, erase those. Sorry. Okay. Um so so go back to oh, yeah, these. Okay. yeah, there you go. 3 down and, and then Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So that's what you see right now from that corner. Um um, you see there there's a wall there. You, okay. you you hear some noise in there, but you also hear noise to the right and left. All right. So org is coming this way. This is wider. I can fight more. Okay. So as, so, so 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 as soon as you step into there. Okay. All right. What you're gonna see is um okay, from where you drew that that space. Um, right. There's yeah, right from from where the, you have the corner to the mm -hmm. that five feet over. That's a doorway, and then you're gonna yeah, from there to the next one to the right. Yeah, that's that's open. That, that's open. You're gonna draw down four like and that. Then, yeah, and then and then over to the left. Am I supposed to do this? No, 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 no. no. That that's open. I'm sorry. Okay, then over to the left. No, over to um, so the so that top part up there that you have that looks like uh -huh. an L. Well, yeah, that part right there. You're gonna erase that. Erase the L. Yeah, erase the erase er, erase the L. Okay, so there's a room to to your south with that door. Got with the with the opening. There is no door there. Um, there and there's noise coming from in there. And the big area that you see looks like a massive living room. It's just oh. plush. So can I ask a question? So yeah. does the rest of this look like this? It kind of sort of does, except for in the bottom left-hand corner facing the left wall, it is open. There? 
No, the um the um that's the other bottom. left. Face, yeah, facing the left wall. It's open. This is open. Yeah. Like that? Yep. Okay. You got it. And then this one's open. This is one big open area. Okay, so so if you want to you draw it, yeah, draw. Keep that going over th no 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 no. Just go over three okay. spaces. Okay. And then okay. and then go then go up one. And then and then I'm sorry, then now 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 take that line. I know it's gonna sound weird, but go uh, all the way back to that other wall that you that you that you that you drew. No, the other wall. Back to the left. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. And then um now now take that line that you were drawing, continue okay. drawing that and and go over um four. Okay. Okay. Now the area that's the box that's boxed in. That mm -hmm. is a massive fire. That's a big uh -oh. fire pit right there, right? Okay. All and right. it's actually feeding all the rooms around it. There's openings okay. around it, but it's it's a it, that's a massive fire pit. And um, tearing apart in the middle of this living room, <laughs> you see a massively big a big pole bold, bigger than the others, and okay. you see. Um, three other kobolds. So there's like four kobolds in there, and they've got one little gnome that's inside this little bit of a like a circular cage, and they're okay. kicking them around. But they're and they're destroying furniture, and it's just. But it's a very plush, comfortable looking environment. Okay, yeah. that's what you got okay. going on. And right now, they have not noticed you. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So. <clears throat> we need to bottleneck these guys. There's too many of them. They haven't noticed us? Uh, yeah. Because they're too busy kicking this this gnome around in this um game of right. soccer. We're gonna can we slide into this room? Nobody's yeah. in here. We're gonna slide in this room real quick. Okay. So as Hopefully. you as you slide into this room, mm -hmm. there isn't any kobolds in here, but this is a massive workshop. With whiz uh -huh. bangs, knockets, and they, and different contraptions and, okay, and cool. things that go into making stuff. And down there where the fire is, it's a, like a like a forge area kind of thing. And on the um the mm -hmm. bottom wall, there's an opening there. And what you see kind of occasionally is this conveyor belt filled with materials. But you also see this kobold that's tangled up in a bunch of crap that's on the conveyor belt. And he keeps going back and around and around and around and around and around. And on the other side of the, um, that, because you can kind of see through that, that bottom area, there's a big open okay. window. You can see there, and there's another kobold just laughing his arse off. He is just laughing at the other kobold like you wouldn't believe. Because one kobold's tangled up in this massive, um, um, I don't know, but it's a conveyor belt of things of materials going back and forth. Okay, the guy's giggling his head off. So if they don't notice me. I'm going to basically uh, sheath my sword, grab my bow, and um, I'm assuming this is my setup. Okay. So I, I'm gonna try to get these colors to collaborate. There's a conveyor belt here, and someone over here. Okay, no, sorry. Black. Okay, no, no, that second part, not where the first one is. All the right. next one down. On the other side of the wall, that's where the conveyor belt is. And where's so, the guy laughing here? Yeah. So, so, so if you if you draw kind of like another line, gotcha. On below that, that's and it's open on both sides. Yeah. Well, you stop there. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. So yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's and a there's conveyor. yeah yeah and it's sort of there's a big open window on the bottom there's a big open and then and it's also open on both sides and there's this conveyor belt that kind of spins I know it sounds kind of weird but there's but where the the south side or the the, the south room is kind of the storage room where they put stuff in the conveyor belts and they feed it back and forth okay gnomes love contraptions and this mask but there's a gnome that's caught in this conveyor thing and he's tearing it apart a gnome a gnome no right? no not yeah. gnome no a kobold there's a kobold, kobold. in in okay, there. I'm gonna, the guy that's laughing at this thing. I'm gonna yeah. take him out first with the bow. One shot. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna see if this hits, right? 26. All right. I just want to make sure he's distracted. I don't want that's not gonna work. So 
I hit an armor class of nine, so that's not going to probably hit him. So you hit an armor class of nine. No, he's they've got an armor class of seven. Um, yeah, so I screwed that up. Okay, yeah, that's all right. Well, well, yep. he now he now notices you, and uh, yeah. So let's just see if it's um. Yeah, he does. Okay, he charges. Roll for initiative, or how are we gonna do this? Oh no, you don't. You don't. You don't have to, because what happens is he charges and he climbs Good. through the conveyor belt. And he gets okay. caught up in the thing with the other guy, and now they're both spinning around on this conveyor belt. Okay, cool. All right, cool. <laughs> we just don't want these guys hitting us from behind. I'm gonna go ahead and um. They're, well, they are just... trying to climb through now to get to you. Okay, these two guys. Yeah. So, ah, uh, neutral Z. I'm going to uh, me and Anwar are gonna come down here, and we're gonna try to dispatch these two as they're rolling around in their mayhem. Okay. So, uh, yeah, since they're all tangled up, so hopefully this will be a little better. So I'm going to let Borg hit first, if that's fine with you. Okay. okay. Yep. Borg. Well, that sucked. Missed him. I guess okay. my sword is getting tangled up and stuff. So let's do the, uh, let's do my buddy. Anwar's got to do better. Horrible. 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 I, you can't hit him. We're just banging and we're just hitting all, right. all the trinkets and stuff. Smashing this stuff up on the conveyor belt. We're as goofed up as they are. All right. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna try to swing. Uh, they got to get 17s to hit both of you. Nope, they missed. All right. Um, they are now running against the conveyor belt. Okay. <laughs> well, Doug, all right. This time, uh, and we're, this is gonna scary because if we fight this big guy, we can't. We have not had a good roll. Okay, and we're hitting first. Dang, he stinks. All right, Borg. I don't get it. I rolled okay. two fives. All right. I don't know. I is like bad. It is bad over here on this side of the world. But All right. Oh no. We give up. We're gonna go home. They're, <laughs> they're still not smart enough to try to get off of it. All right. Um, all they can do is stop running, and they they will get no. Okay. They they both miss. They are um. Okay. All right. One more time. Borg goes first. You rolled a four. All right, Anwar. Okay, there we go. And yeah. he hits armor class of five. All yeah. right. He does eight hit points with the damage. All right. So uh, one of them's down. Um, okay. And um, yeah, so one of one of them is down. And okay. then you're looking at um, the other one. Uh, see if he can. He actually falls out of the thing and falls into into you into your room. So that's okay, his cool. turn. All right, he's falling down. All yeah, right. he's he's actually prone. Okay, B Borg is gonna hit him. All right, misses. He rolled a two. Anwar rolled a so, six. All right, so, 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 up, All right, he's up. Man. He's up, and he's he's coming. And he rolled a ten. He misses wildly. <laughs> Borg swings. He misses. Borg is horrible. Ah, Twelve. Uh. 19 minus 12. He hits armor class of seven. Is that's that what, what these that, guys that's are? That's what they are. Yeah, they're seven. Yeah. Okay. He has two hit points worth of damage. This is Anwar. <laughs> you take, take him, him out. Him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got. Am Anwar's the only one. And I, he looks at Bor. He says, What is your job here? I don't understand. <laughs> it's, he's a little note. He's like, Well, he's the conveyor belt. I got vertigo watching it. It's the movement. It was hypnotic, <laughs> man. It's not my fault. <laughs> He's making right. every excuse in the world why he can't hit with this thing with a sword. And so, goes, Look, um, yeah. So from that, I mean, and you would think that they would hear you guys, but they're they're making so much noise. They're breaking furniture, and from there, you also hear noise in the kitchen, which is the conveyor belts on this other side of this thing. Okay. So you hear. I mean, there's just they're tearing apart this 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 place. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. And, and at this point, when you guys look around, um. The big chieftain has found the, the the comfy chair and he's sitting there. And um, where's he sitting? Um, he's sitting put by the he, fire. He's he's gonna be he's 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 gonna be over here by the fireplace. Okay. And um, so can, is it open? Like there's like yeah yeah it's a, it it's, a, it's a big open fire pit on on all sides and they've got the they've got the gnome. Um, how come I grabbed all of these things? Uh, there's a way you do it now. It's new, but it, I'm not used okay. to. it. Okay, and the gnome is in the is in the middle, being kicked around between the three of them. Okay, so is there any way, like, am I, can I shoot through the fireplace to hit the? 
the bad guy? No, not from there. I'm sorry. No, okay. see, okay. the, the, the fireplace is open between the living room and the fire. Yeah, it's just there's a heat, there's a vent coming off the way, but no, you're not gonna be able to fire through. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. Okay. So, uh, so basically, by description, and maybe I'm wrong. You yeah. correct me. That there's there's a thing like this. You could shoot from this way up through here. Yeah, yeah. You could go from the kitchen through. Yeah, you're right. Because you can see through. So how many kitchen. people looking where I are now? How many guys are in this kitchen area? Um, you heard a couple that were in there. All right. Let's let's see if we can get in here. I want to try it. Okay. Crazy. All right. All right. So so uh, so, so if you if you come out of that workshop out of that door there. Uh huh. And you look down. Okay, so there, this is this is weird. This is again this weird contraption conveyor belt thing going back and forth. But okay. there is a wall. Um, see, kind of that that blue wall where you're at. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. You're. I'm sorry. You're gonna go down. Make it. Um. You know this the 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 area that you that you that you whited out. Yeah. Make make a make another line of it. Another total. Wow. So I need another. Another like ten by thirteen, yeah. I need this. Whoops. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So right. so from right next to Anwar, um, there mm-hmm. is a wall that goes ten feet down. Ten feet down. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, like this? No, no, no. It connects to that other wall up. Again? Yeah. So from so so from kind of from from where the wall where that conveyor belt is. Use that laser point. Could you use that laser point? Yeah. Oh, over? that's a, yeah. Thank. That's a that that's a great idea. So it's right here. There's a wall right here. Oh, there's a wall here. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. It's, okay. It stops there. Okay. So then, then when you when you get down to that that bottom corner, mm-hmm. the tunnel. There's a tunnel actually that goes to the west 10 feet west yep oh okay it was this way 10 feet and stops okay obviously looks kind of like the same door that you went through up above okay All right. and then it goes to the um if you from where from where you're at right now so there is not a wall here there, it's weird. It's not a wall there, but there okay. is a wall here. Okay. There's a wall right here. Okay. Like okay. that? Yeah. And when you look in there, this is the this is the storage room, and it's really well organized. And there's these different conveyor things that things are kind of locked away on all these mechanical gidgy gadgy mm-hmm. things, baskets and stuff. Um, there's food storages, and then over here. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, I'll show you with a laser. Um, this actually goes down a little bit right here. There's, okay. It goes down right there. Yeah, and then um, you know, just 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 one five foot thing, and then um goes over f- another uh, so it's fifteen feet there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Stop there, and then you're gonna notice that there's a wall right um here. Okay. Like that. And that's your kitchen. This is the kitchen? Yep. All right. Hmm. So from where I am, the vantage point here, do I see anything here or over here? Any any Yeah, you cold? see you see you see you see a kobold running around throwing stuff in there. Um here? picking up flour. Yeah, there there's a big and then okay. um they're just they're they're throwing um how many I, of them? Oh, there you just there's you just see one right, right right now, but one of them's throwing something at somebody else in there. So you think there's somebody okay, else in there? Okay, there's two. All right, all right. We're gonna give these guys the bums rush. Let's try this. Yeah. So Anwar is gonna charge as fast as he can. Okay. Score out. Go for this Joker while okay. he's being distracted. Uh, no, he's Anwar's got the flail. Um, Borg's gonna slide and go this way and. Once he gets into a clear, like this guy moves, he's mm-hmm. he's got his bow out. He's going to shoot this guy 
with his bow. Yeah. That's the right. goal. All right. You got you have you have you have you have surprise. They are just okay. tearing apart. Amar's the going first. Mm-hmm. Totally misses because that's the game we're playing tonight. Let's try this one. <laughs> so <laughs> I see if Borg gets a hit. Oh, he's gonna hit. Nice. It's armor class of three does three hit points worth of damage with this bow. Dead. Drop him. He, okay, took this guy out. All right, cool. Let's get rid of him. Um go. Yep. Take this guy. Uh okay. Um this okay. uh this this guy's gonna turn around and try to hit you with um he has a tankard in one hand and a plate in the other. He's gonna try to hit you with both of them. For sure. Um oh it hit him. He hit you with a seventeen, but Okay, how how much damage? He did don't, one point don't. of damage. That's it? Yeah, because yeah. he just he just hit you with a plate. You're wearing armor. Okay, cool. You That's did. true. That's right. Okay. Then uh Amor's gonna take that abuse, not at all, and he's gonna slam as hard as he can with the flail. Mm-hmm. Holy misses. Okay. Or he's gonna push into the room and he's going to fire into the back of the head of this chieftain. Okay. <laughs> he's, cool. he's not gonna do it. He's so determined to shoot him in the head. Uh yeah. To get a plus two on this because it's from behind. Actually, it's probably not because it's fire. <laughs> totally misses. Well, hopefully, it gets stuck in the fireplace. It wouldn't hit him, but he wouldn't know it till it hit him, right? That's kind of the goal. All right, your turn. Well, <clears throat> total miss. Okay. You rolled a two. So how oh, far off is that? Okay. Yeah, you rolled a two. Okay. Well, they just we'll just say that went in the kitchen, went around. Okay, this guy's right. gonna try to pull out his weapon at this point. Okay. Oh, he connected. Okay. Seventeen. Um, Anwar. Anwar. Um, Roll for damage. I, another two hit points of damage. He's dead. Anwar's dead. Oh, hello. Two casualties. Anwar's been dropped. It's Borg all by himself against the enemy. This is beautiful. Ah. Okay, wait. This is oh, this is the way we play the game, Mike. All right. Savage, we roll for hit points. Let's see what happens here. Okay, wait. Um. Okay, wait. All right. Borg knows the fierce and ferocity of what's happened. Yeah. He turns as close as he can. He puts the bow to the things, the heart of the little kobold, and pulls it and strikes him. All right, <laughs> roll. He rolls a four. He rolled a four. He sucks so bad. They have to um, die. They are so bad at their job. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, oh God. I'm gonna um use okay, 14. That's a that's a that's a that's a miss. He missed you. Okay. I guess. Yeah, 14. I don't know. I mean his armor class is two, yeah. Yeah, he's gotta hit I gotta roll 17 to get hit you. Okay, all right, you got 17 to hit him. All right. He drops the bow, pulls okay. out his black sword, kisses it. Yes, and then tries to cleave off the head of this monster. I think I might have gotten this time. Stack over minus eleven. Yeah, he hits a Aracus six. Nice, he's dead. Does, he does that. Like, yeah, six hit points plus three, yeah. nine hit points worth of damage. Yeah. All right, he's dropped the these, bow. These these kobolds at maximum. The regular kobolds at maximum hit points are four. Just to let you know, that's <sighs> he's going to die. But all right, where we are. This is the game we're playing. So so just to let you know, uh-huh. you, you've dropped ten kobolds now. Okay, ten. It's whoever's. I don't know. I don't know how many you started with. So now we have ten dead. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have my friends dead. Yeah. I look over at my friend. I take the amulet off of him. All right. And I said, "You'll understand." <laughs> and he tries to run away. He can't fight four of these guys. He can really land one of them. Mm-hmm. He uh moves to here, and he's moving out. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna try to get out of here without being noticed. All right. He feels bad for betraying his friends. He actually leaves Timmons in the hall. I guess Anwar was killing him anyway. He's killing me anyways. He doesn't care. He's like, I'll get out of here. No way. I can't fight four of these guys. And there's a chieftain. Yeah. Um, Does he they, get away? Yeah, they totally don't. They're not paying any uh, any attention to you. Um, okay. He runs yeah. away. Okay. He tries to find the nearest bar to drown his sorrows. <laughs> You're way out in the woods. All right. So it's as you he runs to he finds a bar. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Oh, I don't know. 
My, there's well, no way he's going to be able to fight for it. He can't fight for it. Well, I'm not going to tell you how many are, are uh, left. No, no, don't. I think it's I think it's something he has to know. It's probably an indefinite source of battle going on in there at all times. Okay, tell, let me tell you what happens. He yeah. goes out. He has his backpack. He has his um, what you, bedroll. He's, he turns around. And he gets out to the point. He sits there and he thinks about it. He's got an elven cloak. He's got an amulet with a unicorn on it. Yep. He's got a black sword. And he's like, eh. 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 I'm so about my friends, but I, I, what am I going to do? I think he um, can no longer be lawful, though. I think he's got, well, I don't know. It's like, it's not suicidal. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, I don't know. Well, you could uh, find some more friends and go back in. He's going to have to. There's no way he could do this on his own. Yeah. Yeah, Borg is out there kind of licking his wounds. He never got hit, but yeah, this that's hard. Roll for hit points. That's hard. That Yeah. Well, when you said Timmons had one, I was like, I... well, one yeah. or four. Either way, it's still be kind of, well, I guess we get one hit point. Hit yeah. Damage. I know. Well, I, don't know. I randomly rolled the number of kobolds. What then, was it? Out of curiosity. He's not coming back. He's going to find something else to do. He'll find something. He's got, he's not going to come back. He does not trust it. His dead friends are in there. But he's, you might, you might, you could get Chuck and you guys come back in if you want. That's true. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. All right. That's yeah. fine. Okay, fine. That's a good point. We can go yeah. in there. We can go back in. Because I'm really kind of curious about what's going on, but. I yeah. don't know. Right now, it's pretty bad. She's going to show up at another bar trying to find people to go back there and get his friends. It's pretty bad. I don't know. Hey, let's take a break. Come yeah. back down. I'll text you, and then we can make characters if you want. You want to make, you you wanna make them tonight? Yeah, sure. Or we can make It's like almost 11. We can make them tomorrow. Yeah, we can make them tomorrow. Yeah. Let's, let's make them tomorrow. tomorrow. Let's make them tomorrow. Right. We had a lot of fun for tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Mike, for DMing. I had fun. Yeah, I, I yeah. <laughs> so, so, I, so, but my, I did but not my win people. at D&D. Felt like I did, but I didn't. Well, you were getting close. Um, so the, um, even with four guys, I don't even know what this guy is. But just it's four against my odds of hitting are so my rolls are so bad. Yeah, they're so bad. You ever think I like I've rolled? It's just not the dice are not in the favor tonight. Well, you you should have about a fifty fifty shot to hit them. Right, because they're AC seven. Yeah, and you you got a plus one. You actually should have a little bit more than that. You should have a should be about fifty five percent chance to hit, right? Oh, I have a Thacko of what? What was this Thacko with the sword? He got a bonus, didn't he? Yeah, you got plus one to hit, and you had a. Oh, I didn't put that in the thing. So his Thacko really should be sixteen. Yeah. No, no, no. It's still it's right. That's right. It should be that. That's it. I did adjust it for the thing. No, it's not exactly where I reached it. Yeah, it's just bad. It's right. just hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just messed up. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, yeah. it was sort of. What I think is interesting is how how hard it is to manage the game at that low of level. It's just so. Yeah. I mean, you really got to pick a fight where you have either overwhelming odds right off the bat. Like the guy's on a conveyor belt. Let's all strike him at once. But even yeah. now, you still come up empty. How many times do we swing at that guy? And they're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> trying to climb through. It's, 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 uh, it's just funny. Some days you're just not good. I, I just, yeah. it's just not one of my good days. I guess I don't know. So, so for the uh, the horror on the hill campaign, what's your what what two characters did you want to create? Because he wants us to create two level two characters. Oh, what would you like? Well, I was thinking I wanted to make a ranger. Okay. And, and then I was just kidding. I thought I was, but I did want to make a ranger. But then he, I was just going to flavor a fighter as a ranger. But he said I could make a ranger. He has this. this, this. Okay. So one All of right. them, my guys want to be ranger. But what's one of your guys that you want to do? Oh, see, I don't know what's in that BX book now. I mean, that that's what we're doing. Or is that what we're doing? Yeah. I don't, well, I guess we could. Yeah. Um. Well. Well, we uh, let's take a look. We probably should have. What was the thing he sent us? What does it say? Does it give the rules? Uh, how does he, he have? How do we have the rules? I thought you had to buy the PDF. Oh, uh, oh no! He sent me in the in the phone. He see, he 
basically sends them shots of the things. But if we just do BX, we've got, you know, the fighter, um, cleric, thief, magic user, dwarf, elf, halfling thing. That's cool. So I think we should split the mage cleric up. So okay. we, um, but the thing is second level, your cleric will get one healing spell, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we could figure this out, but the easiest, in, the easiest way to think of it is um, 